Secure the fitting in the saddle application tool. Move the fitting away from the main pipe. Determine saddle fusion forces from the fitting label. Verify that the heating tool is maintaining 490 to 510 degrees Fahrenheit surface temperature. Check that heating tool surfaces are clean. In a quick, continuous action, center the heating tool beneath the fitting base. Place the heating tool on the main, move the fitting against the heating tool, apply the beat up force, and begin timing as needed. This action should take less than five seconds. Do not interrupt heating to inspect the melt pattern on the main pipe. When fusing to a pressurized main, this can overheat the main pipe and cause a blowout. At the first visual indication of main pipe melt at the curved center of the heating tool face on the main, that is the crown of the main, reduce the beat up force to heating soak force. Continue timing as needed. When the heating time ends, a melt bead of about 1 16th of an inch or more should be visible around the fitting. Quickly separate the heating tool from the fitting and the main pipe and remove the heating tool. Quickly inspect the melt on the main pipe and the fitting base. The surfaces should be completely melted and within three seconds move the fitting against the main pipe and apply joining force. Maintain joining force for the first cooling time period. The saddle fusion machine may be removed after the first cooling time period has ended. Cool undisturbed for an additional 20 minutes. During this time, avoid pressure testing, rough handling, tapping, and connecting to the branch outlet. Visually check the fusion bead around the entire fitting base at the main pipe. The fusion bead should be uniformly sized all around the fitting base and should have a characteristic three bead shape. The first bead is the fitting base melt bead. The second or outermost bead is produced by the edge of the heating tool face on the main. The third or center bead is the main pipe melt bead. The first and third bead should be about the same 1 8 inch size all around the fitting base. The second bead is usually smaller but should also be uniformly sized around the fitting base. 